Hello everyone. Today I'll explain what digital photo backdrops are and how to use them. I'll show you a few examples in Adobe Photoshop. Digital backdrops are backgrounds used to enhance photos. They come in various styles, wedding, newborn, solid colors, vintage, and so on. With digital backdrops, you can create awesome posters or covers even from the most ordinary photos. So let's get started. First, open your photo in Adobe Photoshop. The first thing you need to do is remove the background. If you are using the latest versions of Photoshop, this can be done in just two clicks. Select the Select Menu item, then Subject. Next, choose the Selection tool in the toolbar and right-click on the selected area. Choose Copy to a new layer. Sometimes this function may select something extra, so just erase it using the Eraser tool. Great! Open your backdrop and move your photo without the background into it. Now let's add a drop shadow. Create a new layer under the layer with the subject, change its blending mode to Multiply, and paint the shadow with a soft brush. Now we need to adjust the color slightly. The easiest way is to right-click on the photo layer, select Blending Options, then enable Color Overlay and Darken Mode, and choose the lightest color on the backdrop to adjust the highlights. Enable another color overlay in Lighten Mode and select the darkest color on the backdrop to adjust the shadows. Using Color Overlay, you can add a slight tint. And with Soft Light, you can adjust the color and contrast simultaneously. Finally, tweak the brightness contrast a bit. In the next example, I replaced the background for a bride. I also first selected the subject and moved it to a new background. I adjusted the colors using the Camera Raw filter. If you're a beginner, it's easier to do it like in the first example, but the Camera Raw filter allows for better results. Another example is with a newborn baby. We have some suitable backdrops. Select the subject and move it. Then add a shadow. To do this, I simply duplicated the layer with the baby and used blending options to make this layer blue. Then I use the Motion Blur filter to make the shadow more realistic and erase the excess shadow on the side where the light falls. Where the shadow needs to be enhanced, you can add it with a fluffy brush. Don't forget to set the blending mode to multiply for the shadow layer. Adjust the colors a bit as we did in the first example. And I also wanted to add a bluish tint to the baby's clothes. There are different ways to do this, but I decided to create a new layer, then create a clipping mask and paint the clothes blue. Apply the color mode to the layer, and by duplicating it, apply the soft light mode. That's the result we got. In the last example, we'll replace the background for a boy. This will be a Lego cave. Here, it's much simpler. No need to draw shadows, just slightly adjust the colors. I hope this video helped you understand what photo backdrops are and how to use them. Thanks for watching.